Oh no, the drone just made a delivery and he's taking off, fam. He's got my door dash and he's taking off. Well, if you guys click on this video to watch the drone delivery, sorry to disappoint you and sorry for all the people that said drone's gonna take over our job. It's just my DJI Mini, baby. <laughs> All right, here's a quick uh, clip from uh, Tech Quickie uh, on why Joe is not uh, taking over our jobs yet. Yet. But it wasn't until 2016 that the Federal Aviation Administration in the United States passed rules specifically for drones, commonly referred to as Part 107. Although Part 107 made the rules of the sky more straightforward for hobbyists, it didn't do much to help businesses who wanted to deliver orders via drone. Probably the most burdensome rule is that drone operators have to keep their drones within their line of sight. Not exactly feasible for big companies like Amazon or Uber who want to deliver lots of packages over fairly long distances. Now, it- All right, here's another quick clip from uh, Wendover Production on why uh, drone delivery is not um, yeah, mainstream yet. I, right? Well, perhaps not. Connecting any house with a drone delivery provider doesn't quite work because in the center of the city, right here, is Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. In order to assure the safety of arriving and departing aircraft at the busy hub, the FAA restricts the use of drones within this area. So a Phoenix drone delivery service probably just couldn't operate here. And here, in the restricted airspace around Luke Air Force Base. And here, around Phoenix Goodyear Airport. And here, and here, and here, here, and here. It's not entirely impossible to operate drones with- Alright guys, so why are drones not taking over our jobs yet? DoorDash, uh, Uber Eats, Amazon, uh, Amazon Flex, FedEx, UPS. Well, number one reason, there's just a lot of FAA regulations right now, you know. The drones can fly like uh, within, uh, what is it, two miles of the airport and stuff. And uh, number two, they're not able to deliver a heavy package yet. like. 50 pound dog food or you know a 70 pound mattress the drone technology is just not there yet um number three just uh liability you know i don't i don't think the technology is there to distinguish if there's a dog in the backyard or if you're just chilling in your backyard and they drop a package on you and injure somebody and uh number four you know the 5g technology is not everywhere yet so i don't think drone can make a a uh, perfect delivery or you know as good of a delivery as a human being and uh, also i want to put in my two cents about uh, driverless car you know cars that drive by the, itself so, um, so uber google and all these big tech companies has uh, uh, been uh, investing like billions and billions of dollars into uh, driverless cars self-driving cars you know and the technology is just not there yet you know i think a year or two ago um was it Uber that uh, uh, had a driverless car uh, um, crash into um, a uh, regular car and cause um, uh, death, you know? So driverless car technology has been there for like seven years now, but you know, they still can't implement it. Same with uh, drone delivery, you know? Uber and uh, Google and Amazon has been investing billions and billions of dollars into this technology, but for now, it's just not there yet, fam. Uh, uh, self-driving cars and drone delivery it's not there yet you know so all you doordash drivers uber driver lyft drivers amazon flex drivers our jobs is uh still safe for now you know our jobs are still safe for at least another 20 years at least another 20 years and you know they say robots gonna take over our jobs like 40 years ago with the uh, auto manufacturing that never happened you know they just um Robots just help uh, humans uh, do the jobs uh, more efficiently, you know? I mean, there's robots in auto manufacturing, but they're not taking over all the jobs, you know? Same with warehouse jobs. Mm. And same with uh, self-checkout kiosk, you know? I mean, there's self-checkout kiosk, but there's still humans um, um, uh, stocking the shelves and all that. There's still humans helping out uh, self-checkout customers or scan their IDs and whatnot. So, you know, AI is awesome, but I don't think the technology is there to replace all the human jobs yet. 
maybe in a hundred years, I don't know. Hmm. But by that time, uh, I'm not gonna be here to watch uh, drone delivery, uh, self-driving cars and um, robots uh, taking over the world yet. <laughs> so all to, the, to all the clowns that put it in the comments about uh, drones taking over delivery or self-driving cars, sorry to disappoint you, man. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> thanks for watching, fam. Hmm. So um yeah uh credit to uh Wendover Productions and uh Tech Quickie. I use like 30 seconds uh of their clip so hopefully it will fall under the fair use uh for YouTube, you know. Uh please check out their videos if you guys want uh, a more eloquent in-depth look at John Delivery, Wendover Production and uh Tech Quickie. Mm. Thank you every thanks everyone for watching. Be safe out there. Mm. Go make that money. Peace fam. Alright, all right, guys, so uh, drone technology will be there in the future, maybe another 20 years down the road, and you know what, what's, still gonna be there, uh, what's still gonna be there in the future? Your money, fam! Please check out Weibo, if you guys don't have a Weibo account yet, just open an account using my link below. Um, just deposit one penny, get 12 fractional shares. Deposit one penny, get 12 fractional shares. If you uh, don't have a lot of money, just put in $50 a month towards your Roth IRA. If you have more money, put in like $200 per month, fam. And the money's uh, gonna be there for you in the future. Thank you, uh, we both for sponsoring this video. Thank you everybody for watching. Be safe out there. Peace. Please check out Weibo, fam. This week we've lined up 15 videos showing how Tesla Autopilot reacts in crashes, near misses, fails, and saves. And showing how it sometimes doesn't react at all. Holy f Wham! Bam! Tesla cam! I hope you're sad. It would be easy to believe that we are on the verge of a fully self-driving car revolution, thanks in part to this guy. Tesla car next year will probably be 90% capable of work. Also, thank you to the Guardian YouTube channel and the uh, Wembam uh, Tesla Cam uh, channel for the awesome clips. Uh, please check out their channels. Uh, I'll put, put the link in the video description, fam. Thank you everybody for watching. Peace. Thank you for watching all the way to the end, fam. So, what is my take on drone delivery? I mean, uh, I mean the technology is there, but um, it can't make a perfect delivery yet, and only with light, light envelope, like a, uh, uh, you know, uh, ten ounce uh, Amazon envelope or something. It can't deliver anything heavy, and with uh, self-driving cars, the technology is just not there yet. You know, the five G technology is not there yet. Maybe in twenty years, there uh, there will be a uh, driverless cars and uh, drone delivery, but uh, for now, um, Uber, L Lyft, uh, drivers, DoorDash drivers, Amazon Flex driver, FedEx, UPS, our, our jobs are safe for now, for at least another 20 years, fam. Mm. So to all the clowns that put in the comments about drones taking over our jobs or robots taking over our jobs, no, nah, not yet, man, not yet, not yet. And thank you everybody for watching. Please smash the like, subscribe, ring the bell, fam. Thank you, see you guys on the next one. Peace.